All right, y'all, because get in here so we can talk about this latest episode of Basketball Wives LA. I didn't even know the show was bite, but let's go ahead and get into it because it looks like Jackie finna get these bitches a run for their money this season. Before we even get started, y'all make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, and get down in these comments so we can talk about it after I get done talking about it. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Evelyn's single. Uh, out here ready to mingle. We all knew you was playing with that poor, bald-headed ass man from last season. And you ought to be shamed that you led him on that long. But at least you done freed the man. Um, And now she says she's focusing more on her clothing line. And she's hired an assistant. Um, I'm happy to see Evelyn back. It's always mixed reviews about whether or not people like Evelyn um, or not. And my whole thing of it is she's good TV. She going to bring some type of drama out, especially, um, in these type of scenes where it's really needed. Cause it's a lot of filler shit going on. For instance, the next scene is Brooke. Basically it's a quick little scene of her filing the final uh, document that she needs to file for her divorce. She called Jen real quick and let her know that she's officially divorced. They have a little kiki moment. But Jen is really not worried about no motherfucking divorce right now. She worried about marrying this young ass man that she is engaged to. That probably ain't even going to be able to afford the cost of this wedding. But that's neither here or there. We're going to get to that later. Um, I'm happy for Brooke too. She needed to go on ahead and, and be through. After you try to rekindle it and it just don't work, let it go. You know, she had been through enough with the death of her daughter, that dragging out a relationship that really wasn't serving her no more. Probably wasn't in her best interest. So kudos to you, Brooke. Jocelyn, she planning a wedding. Everybody getting married, ain't they? Ain't they? Everybody getting married. I just really hope they last. Um, Jocelyn planning her wedding, uh, to Natasha, she meets with Evelyn at the gym and basically they talking a little bit about the drama that been going on, um, within the group. Now I must've missed a lot of stuff. Okay. From last season, because <laughs> apparently after Jackie apologized to Brooke on the show last season, um, for not coming and consoling her or being there for her when her daughter Kayla passed away. Jackie done got her ass on some interview and, and took back the apology. Like, why would you retract the apology, Jackie? See, that's the kind of stuff right there that also make Jackie the same level of Evelyn. Whereas you don't know if you want them back or if you don't want them back. But you kind of feel like you need them because they good TV. Why in the hell would you apologize to that, to that woman about something so serious as her losing her daughter and then go and take it back? If nothing more but to be nasty. It just really doesn't make no sense. And then Jackie always wants to try to justify some of this bullshit that she be doing. But really, Jackie, I think you knee deep in a bunch of shit because you done also got caught on a recording that Jackie saying that she posted it. I think she posted a portion. And y'all, I do have um the recording. I have one part of it. Um, I'm going to post it on the end of the video just for all the people who might not have ca caught it because the thing of it is all of this happened months ago and of course it's resurfacing because the episode just aired but I'll go ahead and plug it in at the end of the video for anybody who wants to see it but basically Jackie has both posted and had a recording posted of her it was the same conversation I think it's just separate parts the part Jackie has posted is basically British going clean off about Shawnee now. How the Miami bitches get to LA and now they done took the name and they done changed it to basketball why LA and all of this and all of that. And it's just kind of like, what? Like, what is going on? Um, because that part was British. But then also, I think Brooke posted a part from Jackie where Jackie was basically saying, fuck Brooke. Um, she didn't want to have nothing to do with her. She wouldn't be filming with her. Brooke is just on the show fishing for money um, for her for her daughter, which is crazy for you to make an accusation of. And also, Jackie, this is all stuff that we have heard you say. I hate when people l try to really play in your damn face. OK, you got caught. We heard it. You also went on an interview like we wasn't going to hear that and said that you took back the apology to the girl. Whatever the hell has happened and how y'all have fallen out, for you to always want to make it seem like you're the matriarch of this sisterhood or whatever, and then stuff like this happened. I don't care if you or Brooke did fall out after you had went and apologized to her regarding the whole Kayla situation. Why don't you leave that shit alone? Because ultimately, that really wasn't for Brooke that you apologized. That was for Kayla. She's the one that passed away. 
you know, yeah, you Brooke was the one grieving, but you, you know, really you said that stuff for her daughter. So why would you ever go and do something as nasty as take that back? Cause you know, if one of them had did that about one of your children, it would be hell to pay the captain. You would not let that go. And you would let it be known that they done did something to your child that you ain't able to forgive. So come on, Jackie, I'm gonna need you to do a little bit better than that. All right, we're going to get back to that drama a little bit later. Now, Jen planning this wedding in Paris. Lord have mercy, Jen. You just setting yourself up for the okie doke. But okay, baby. Now, she meets up with Jackie. Um, and they start talking about the group drama. Jackie going to have the nerve to say, well, she's not the one that recorded the the call. But she knows who did. It was a close friend of hers. And that's why she put it out. I feel like Jackie recorded that shit. It's like who in the fuck else was going to record it. But at the same time that I say that, I think, of course, they probably recorded it because they so sick and tired of Jackie always lying every time they try to confront her about a conversation that somebody done had with them in private. Look at that. That quick. I done had to check myself because, of course, one of them might have recorded it. But what make me think that Jackie recorded it is because she the one and she didn't think nobody else was. I don't know if there was multiple people recording or what, because how did Brooke get the recording? Hell, maybe Jackie didn't record it because if if Brooke and Jackie done fell out so bad, then how in the hell did Brooke get the recording for her to post it? If anything, it could have been British recording it. Hell, Brandy, because Brandy claimed she was on the call. Now, I don't know how it is that Brandy on the call, she must have just been sitting back honey listening to the whole thing not said a word had her phone around to the mute so she could have really been the one to record it but at the same time she cool with british so i can't even see brandy recording it and then letting it get posted or knowing that there's a chance that it could get posted and british is on her really dogging um shiny and evelyn and then who in the hell gonna say something about british fake ass okay we know she ran to the jail but my thing of it is who going to say something to her too? They was both talking shit. And that also goes to say, all of y'all kind of get in y'all own little clicks and talk shit. Why is it so bad that Jackie do it too? You know, it really only makes it bad because Jackie is a liar. And Jackie don't seem to be able to, one, stand in the shit that she say when she say something behind somebody back. Um, to admit when she wrong, admit when she has done something wrong, because honestly, there's nothing wrong with you saying, I don't fuck with Brooke. Yeah, me and Brooke fell out and I don't fuck with her right now, period, point blank. And you might say something else a little crazy, but that's because you're not fucking with her right now. Who cares? They all talk about Jackie behind her back, talk about how cannabis she is, how much of a narcissist she is, a liar, all of that. They talk about her. They finna be calling her imposter later on down the season so it's not the fact that the, that jackie does the talking behind their back it's the fact that when she comes face to face with them she brings mess with it because she'll lie and she'll connive and she'll say oh no i didn't say that's a lie i didn't say everybody lying i know at one point <laughs> hold on y'all i keep on trying to skip because we I, I keep talking about this drama and then i keep wanting to skip to the ponderosa um, before we even go there though, Jackie interviewing these interns, honey, it looked like they done put her together a little fake, little four person interview for some interns for her talk show coming up. You could tell it's some bullshit because she asked me people questions like, do you drink? Why in the hell does that matter? You shouldn't want they asses drinking on the clock. So your tasks and shit that you asking them to do can get done in a timely manner. No, Jackie the type that want a motherfucker to get drunk with her all day long and just be off bullshit. Nothing get done. Don't care. They was drunk. That's just all she care about, it seemed like, okay? I am curious to see this talk show, though, because what the hell are you finna be talking about? Who you finna be interviewing? I want to see it. I don't believe it's happening, so I want to see it coming to fruition, baby. I will be tuning in, and we'll probably be talking about it whenever it comes out. Evelyn meet with the manufacturer about the fabric for her bodysuit line, and I love this concept for Evelyn that she's doing a bodysuit line because it ain't no secret. The body's T. It always kind of has been. Evelyn has a great body. And I feel like she always have ever since she's been on um, Basketball Wives. And she, we learned that, you know, in the game, you win some and you lose some. It looked like she done 
accidentally order some fabric that she ain't gonna be able to use or don't like done spent around like five thousand dollars see this why you needed that bald head man back with you because he had knew what he was doing about the business now you lost just spending free willy-nilly money on bodysuit scratch material that you can't even use look like bell bottoms they supposed to be tight around the ankle they was flared she gonna holler what am i supposed to do with this honey we don't know disco dance in it i don't know what to do with it okay it don't look like the other pieces that you have so, uh, and the lady told her, this is the one we bought that we just couldn't wait for. That's why you need that man. That's what you get. I ain't even, I'm not even about to play with you on that. Jen and Brooke, they meet for lunch. And lo and behold, Brandy pops up. I can't even lie. I am excited to see Brandy back as well. That's another one that's good for TV because Brandy gonna cuss your ass out in a minute, in a millisecond. She just as bad as Brooke about that mouth. They gonna give it to you. Back that mouth, okay? It don't even matter. Don't say too much. They gonna cuss you out. But we do learn that, dang, if it ain't enough, y'all know Brandy has already been having health issues herself in the past. Her son, I don't know if he had to get a full heart transplant or what, but I know she said that he had to have um, a life-saving heart surgery due to um, a near fatal um, disease that he had and that is so scary you know I can only imagine having to watch your child go through a surgery that is potentially gonna dictate whether or not they live or not that shit is terrifying and she's a stronger woman than I'll probably ever be honey um but I'm happy to see her back they asked her if she's gonna come around to the Ponderosa Jen tell her you better come but Brooke says she's not coming which I didn't think Brooke would go why they already into it brooke is the one that jackie seemed to have the most smoke with this season and i want to know why what's the root of to the tutor okay what happened after that apology besides that phone call that done caused all of this shit because i really thought that they laid it to rest last season but um brooke says she wasn't going i don't blame her jen and christian they take a french class just filler shit that's all i'm saying I don't know why y'all taking in French class. Y'all need to be saving up every penny y'all got so that y'all can make this wedding happen that ain't going to happen. I'm telling you, it's going to, it might happen, but I just feel like Jen going to be mad at a motherfucker because I, I want to know where this man finna pull all this money out. It's already a little clip around to the, uh, later on in the season where he's like, oh, this, this wedding is, y'all know he talked like he, he philosophical. This wedding is beginning to cost an astronomical amount. And, uh, and she holler, oh, I don't do broke. I'm allergic to that. I don't do broke, honey. And it's just like, Jen, you better learn how to do broke because it kind of sound like you driving Christian into the broke. Um, whatever little money he had, I think he thought he was going to start recouping a lot more than that being with Jen than he have. And baby, it might not be adding up. I'm just saying, Jen, be careful. That's all. Now, finally. We get around to the Ponderosa. In true Jackie fashion, she bring a friend that don't nobody else know but her, Cheyenne, to try to be a mediator. Don't know nothing about what the fuck going on, but what Jackie has told her. But you're going to be the mediator. Yeah, okay. And I think they put all the girls on edge because they all know that Jackie was going to be biased. Or not Jackie, but that Cheyenne was going to be biased because the only thing she's hearing is what Jackie's telling her. And, of course, Jackie's making them out to be a bunch of mean, evil-ass, conniving bitches. And this woman don't know no better. So, Evelyn, well, Jackie opened the conversation. Um, basically talking about she still wants to be friends with everybody and where can we go from here because I don't want to keep doing this and this is a sisterhood and so I just Brooke I thought Brooke was going to be here but she's not so we'll deal with that later so I just want to know just real soft like y'all real soft like you think okay Jackie might act right no Evelyn kick it on off and um Evelyn just like well listen I just want to know why you want to smack the fuck out of me what the hell I did to you Okay, because you got on a call with Brooke or whoever and you start talking all kind of shit about me. Then you went and called somebody else playing a game of telephone talking a bunch of shit about Brooke. And then y'all all talking a bunch of shit about Shawnee and me. So I want to know what the hell up. Of course, Jackie starts saying, no, uh, it's lies. You all are all. I think at one point she literally yelled out, y'all all lying. It's all lie. Everybody's lying. How, Jackie, is everybody lying? I still want to know how the hell this four, three, seven way combo got set up 
to where all you hear on the recording is British and Jackie talking. So if Brooke and Brandy was on the phone, they had to be on the phone with the motherfucking phones on mute. And here's what is confusing me because if Jackie is the one that called British, right? If Jackie the one that called British and was and was complaining, because I don't feel like she would have said all the shit about Brooke if she knew that so many people was on the phone. If she was the one that called British, I can get, you know, I can see either one of them recording. But I don't... It's just like, how in the hell is British going to get both Brandy and Brooke on the phone at the same time without Jackie knowing? Because you heard Jackie at the table asking Brandy, were you on the phone? And Brandy was like, I swear I was on the phone. And Jackie's like, you lying. How is it that she think Brandy lying about being on the phone? The only thing I can think is that Jackie made the call. So she like, how the fuck could you have been on the phone? I call. She can't say that at the table though, y'all. Pete, she can't say that because if she say that, then that gives away that she was probably the one orchestrating all of this. But she's probably thinking in her head, now how the fuck did Brandy get on the call when I'm the one that called British? British would have had to put me around to the hold or something for her to do a three-way call and click Brandy the fuck in. And she probably probably trying to boggle her mind to think how in the hell did this happen all the while she's still just gonna deny it at the same time she's just gonna deny it evelyn get mad um she jump up and she just leave because well first she asked why did she take why did jackie take back the apology from brooke jackie didn't answer evelyn get pissed you ain't never been no friend to nobody get up and storm on out jocelyn go check on her and Jen is trying to talk to her and basically explain why Evelyn's so mad. Jackie fuck up and say, oh, you mean like how Evelyn or how you sat up and talked about Evelyn's daughter for three years straight and wasn't nobody your friend but me? That's how. That's how this is going. So then, it, of course, that pissed Jen off. Jen get up and leave. Baby, they dropping like flies around to the Ponderosa. You hear me? I know Cheyenne is sitting there. With her booty cheeks so tight. Like, baby, just don't let none of that shit bounce over here to me. I'm just going to be quiet. I don't know what's going on. Jen storm out. Jocelyn come back and she basically is trying to talk to Jackie. But Jackie on 10 at this point. She don't want to hear it. Brandy gets up. Brandy like, I got to go check on Evelyn and them. Because Jen invited me. They both gone. I'm just finna go. So now it's really just Jocelyn and jackie at the table and jocelle's trying to say listen jackie you pushing me away like more towards them because of how you act girl jackie didn't even let that girl finish what the hell she was saying that bitch said bye i love you but bye and was staring at her like a demon while she said it oh come on jackie if you ain't gonna do nothing else, baby, you gonna make some good ass TV. Jocelyn didn't know what to do. She finally got on up in her money green and got on up out of her too. She said, nah, bitch, you shooed me. You shooed me up out of there and that shoe almost got you a shoe. <laughs> I'd have died if Jocelyn would have took off a shoe and cold cocked Jackie upside her motherfucking head. Jackie over her scrolling on her phone, looking like she ain't did nothing wrong. The girl Cheyenne looking her lost as hell and what's funny is before it before the ponderosa started the girl cheyenne had asked jackie well what are you gonna do if they come in here off 10 honey jackie without a missing a blink holler watch me pivot baby i'm a pivot and pivot she did got everybody together in the blink of two seconds after coming in here starting it off with that all oh, okay guys i just i want us all to just squash this and figure out how we could just move on in a sisterhood so soft honey to the first bitch that pissed her off bye bye you're all liars everybody liars <laughs> all right y'all now here's what i want y'all to do get down in these comments and y'all let me know who the hell done recorded this call who y'all got do y'all think jackie recorded the call do y'all think british recorded it brandy brooke who in the hell all was on the phone, okay? This is crazy. This cast, I will say, is too old to be motherfucking acting like this, okay? They're doing all this three, four, five, and six-way calls, recording them and shit. Y'all too old for that, but I'm here for it, so keep on doing it. Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, because y'all already know what. I'm going to be back for the next one. Oh, and don't leave, because y'all know I'm going to put that video up for anybody who want to see it. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all had y'all own shit in Miami, and y'all yeah. shit got canceled because nobody wanted to watch y'all no more. How the fuck did all of y'all end up in LA? I don't get it. I don't either.
I don't know what's going then, on. Then y'all went, went and stole our fucking credit. Now basketball, they just come up just basketball wise now on fucking Wikipedia. That basketball wise, that leg, that bitch just basketball wise. No, like the shit is crazy to me. Now all of a sudden, now Los Angeles is at the end of the name all of a sudden again because we ain't had it for five seasons. I don't get it. Like, but we, at the end of the day, basketball wise, Los Angeles is Jackie Christie. And it's not me talking shit or me being funny right. or me like, because I love you, of course, but this right. is just what it is. You know, I know. Because at the end, at the end of the day, right. when y'all. Like, uh, it's like in your face, Jackie. And I'm like, why? Girl, I ain't tripping. I don't need it. And I've already said, I gave you guys one opportunity when I had my dinner. And come. Mm -hmm. I don't want to shoot with her. I'm back on that. I ain't, I ain't fuming with her. Because I already know what she's going to do. And my attorneys and everybody else already recommended I don't. I'm not going 10 steps back for this bride. I don't, I don't like her. I don't care for her. I'm not doing it. She's still on here trying to get paid off of this baby. I'm good. Y'all can have that. Get somebody else to do it. So, I'm not doing it. Nothing with her. Me and Brooke will not have a conversation on yeah. national TV no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she done fucked herself with me for good. So, she can have it with whoever else she wants, but she won't.